How's it going, people? My name is Bakemini. This here is about few three. That's time playing on Carg Island, but that M4A1 engineer class. But the small, because you know, when you're running around on these big vehicle maps, having not having a small or an RPG is kinda annoying. You know, you're running around and all of a sudden there's a fucking behemoth chasing after you, big armored fucker coming after you with his T90 or his Abrams tank, and you're just like, ah, uh, hi. I can't, I can't really do anything about this, so I'm just gonna hide behind this rock over here. That, that can be irritating sometimes, but in this case just here, we did bring along the old small with us to actually do something about the tanks. You know, because this is one of those rare occasions where I'm playing the game and I actually get to choose what I want to use. You know, like half the time it's say when oriented gameplay and I don't get any say in the matter or whatever we're getting, so. Yeah, but in this case, just here, I spawn back in, and I'm like, ah, M1 Abrams tank, that's available. I'm gonna have some of that, because, uh, you know, we need the tanks all up in these bitches. Yeah, I don't feel I actually play in the tank all too often in this game. I don't really know why. I don't play the huge open maps as much as I really used to when I was playing, like, Bad Company 2 and stuff. At least I didn't use the tanks as much as I used back in Bad Company 2. I feel when I was playing uh, BC2, especially when I was playing it on the uh, PS3 back in the day before I started playing on PC, um, I was playing a lot in the tanks and I was actually pretty decent at it. I used it quite a fair bit. It was the same with helicopters too. When I was playing on uh, Bad Company 2 and Bad Company 1 on the PlayStation 3, I, uh, I consider myself pretty fucking good in not only the tanks, but in the helicopters as well without trying to sound big-headed about anything. But uh, I, yeah, I used to be able to do those things quite well. And the transition into Battlefield 3, I've not really done as much of those things to actually con to be anywhere near as decent as I used to be using the vehicles. I don't know why, I just never really put the time into doing it. And they're really powerful things, obviously on the battlefield when you run into a tank you're probably pretty fucking screwed if you're out in the open. So uh, yeah, those guys there, they were taking cover but uh, not well enough as they took cover behind the only destructible thing on the map. And I don't know what this guy was doing, did you just see that there? Did, did you notice it? Let's have a wee replay. Guy standing on my tank, I just fucking launched him through the sky. <laughs> he actually suicided. It came up in the kill feed. I never even noticed that at the time, somehow. Like, I don't remember that happening. I may have noticed it, but I don't remember that ever happening. I was watching back the, the gameplay when I was editing, and I was like, what the fuck? I just catapulted someone across the sky there. And also, you may have noticed I came within inches of taking down a jet at the same time. But uh, it was not to be. I don't know how these people that send me in top plays every week really do it, man. You see them getting two and three jets and stuff in like one gameplay in about 30 odd seconds. But uh, I can't seem to get any unless they're flying right at me and very, very slowly. Then I probably won't hit you. I'm just wondering with the uh, upcoming Battlefield 4 if uh, there's going to be more or less maps orientated over infantry gameplay rather than vehicle gameplay or vice versa. Because, I mean, the way that Battlefield 3 is really boiled down is, I would say the majority of the maps are uh, mainly infantry oriented. There's some maps that have, obviously, they're kind of, they're smaller maps, but they have some vehicles on them. But I would even still consider those as being infantry maps, really. I mean, places like Grand Bazaar and stuff like that, there is, like, a tank. That wouldn't, I wouldn't say a tank makes it a fucking vehicle map all of a sudden. Or there's a couple other ones here and there that just have, you know, one or two tanks or little vehicles or whatever here and there. And it just feel like the majority of the maps on this game are really just for infantry, or at least they're very heavily focused on infantry combat rather than all round, uh, all over the place, battlefield fucking vehicles all over the shop type stuff. There's another destruction kill for you just there. Get myself a nice 10 kill streak. Or actually, someone else got a 10 kill streak just there. I thought I actually got up to there. I'm not really too sure what's going on at the moment. I've got quite a few people. I was doing okay at this point here in my tank. The enemy team did not really know how to deal with the tank. I was just sort of cruising in. I wasn't rushing in like an idiot. Like you see a lot of people doing when you're playing online. They get a tank and they think, Oh, I got a fucking tank. I'm going to cruise in there because fuck you guys. I'm in a tank. And then he dies after like five seconds, you know, like, ah, face palm. Like, what, what are you doing with yourself, son? But uh, I'm just sort of sitting back just here. I started taking some hits just now, and I feel like because I was sort of destroying the whole enemy team, half of the guys just switched to engineer and just were like pummeling my tank. Then all of a sudden, the jet comes out of nowhere and just disintegrates the thing like it's made of paper or something. 
So back to ground combat we go just here with the old small again trying to take out this tank over here. And uh, tip for you, if there's a guy, you know, repairing the tank, kill the guy repairing the tank. Don't hit the tank, there's no point in that, he's just going to repair it like in seconds. So take out that guy and then you can take out the tank unless the tank clocks you and says like what the fuck are you doing shooting at me son and then just obliterates you. But in that moment just there I was victorious. Got myself a couple of guys and took that tank out. Can I just note just here, uh, there was no sound on the gameplay. I'm sure you may have noticed. I think I might have music under me talking right now or something. Basically the reason for that is I was in the game I was talking to my friend. And it doesn't really work when I'm talking and there's talking under me talking. Because it's distracting as fuck. So, took out the sound for people that are wondering about that. I don't know, it's just good having something in the background. But when it's other people shouting at each other, it doesn't really work in a video. And uh, this guy took quite a bit of persuasion to actually go down as I jumped down and fucking kung fu the fuck out of him. I don't know why I said kung fu, I may say ninja, but whatever, that works. Quickly, I'd like to throw this in here. Uh, thank you to all you guys that were uh, purchasing t-shirts last week. Quite a few of you uh, went onto the t-shirt stores that, you know, they're in the description down below. And uh, grab yourself a cool t-shirt or two or a hoodie or whatever the fuck you want. That's all sort of down there. Uh, so thank you guys for your continued support on the channel. Keeping things running smoothly. And uh, yeah, we're continuously moving forward with things. Just saying, your support is very much appreciated. And uh, we're moving out of the last base just here. Things were getting a little bit hectic. I decided, I was like, okay, we've got one MCOM armed. There's one left. That's the closest one to where I am at the moment. If I try and run across the street to there, I will probably get absolutely shredded. Because the enemy team are all lurking around those uh, containers over there across the little road just there. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be a nuisance just here. I'll shoot a few of them, see if I can get their attention and sort of divert attention away from my teammates so I can actually, you know, just sort of help hold them back a little bit here. And uh, my team actually done quite well. They were getting in amongst them, getting MCOM stations armed and really just swarming around the whole place. I was just running back and forth just here. Unfortunately, I got kind of caught out just there with that guy was sort of out in the open and he just took me down as I ran around the corner. But, uh, yeah, eventually we did get in there, we got right into the MCOM station, got that shit arm, started holding them off outside, and such. I want to keep doing these commentaries every, like, I want to do, like, a, a commentary similar to this kind of thing every week or so. Um, you know, to keep sort of things varying up a little bit, instead of just doing the save when, top plays, bonus round, and then I want to do these, and maybe some other cool shit, I don't know, we'll see. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Until next time, I have been Big Moon, and I will see you later. Goodbye.